Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Satisfactory where I'm just looking at the space elevator and, and hoping, hoping that soon we will be able to send some materials up there and get to work on Project Assembly, whatever that may be. Also, look at the sky, I love it. I love the, the like, the purple-pink sunsets you get, or sunrises? I don't even know which. The sun's somewhere close to the horizon right now, and it's moving in a direction, that's all I can tell you. So, last episode, we got some more constructors built, we've continued to uh, expand on our big giant assembly system here that's gonna make vast amounts of uh, reinforced uh, iron, whatever it is, reinforced iron plates and rotors, that's the thing. All that good stuff. And we're running out of room before we reach the space elevator. I realize building the, the end point and the beginning point first before you even really know what you're doing in between not a good idea, but I really wanted to build a space elevator. Look how cool it is. It's just really cool, okay? So, we've made this bed and we're gonna have to lie in it. Also, I do have to wonder, I didn't do any research last episode. I should probably get that done, I, or, or milestones even. I should probably actually get some stuff ordered, because I gotta imagine, like, how is this doing now? Oh, look at all the plates. Look at all the stuff. We could probably just handcraft the things we needed for the, uh... For the space elevator right now, but that would be against the principle of the game. I refuse. I won't do it. What are we working on right now? Jump pads. Well, they are cool. Yeah, let's make some of those. Uh, what do we have that we can put in here? I have quite enough plates on me. So, we'll get some more of those. Also, I've got a bunch of... Uh, iron ingots right now that I don't want, so we'll just dump them in here. That's a way of getting rid of We've got iron ore as well, but I can't get rid of that. Let me just check now that I know that these can be different. So, 30 per minute. 30 per minute. Okay, yeah. We've just got really impure everything, apparently. Except for the copper, which is fantastic, and the stone, which is uh, medium. So... Yeah, I mean, I guess that works out alright, because we've got tons of iron deposits. And then the copper and stone deposits, we only have one of each, so we got to make sure we can get something out of them. Okay, uh, put the rest of... Oh, I didn't put enough of those in. Okay, and put those in, press the button, launch the thing, off it goes. We've unlocked jump pads. Four minutes to the next one. Buildings at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Yep, I've got to imagine that you die a lot using the jump pads here. I'm going to put the uh, exploration basics next, because that gives us the object scanner and the beacon. There's no point doing any of these, so we have the object scanner. I mean, overclocking production is good too. Actually, we'll do that first, because I can see some earlier potential applications, but we've got to wait three minutes for that, so we can just carry on working on the factory once again. Let's sort our inventory so we can actually see what we're dealing with here. Uh, a bunch of petals is one of the things we're dealing with. Why do I have those on me again? Oh, I'm out of room in this thing. I can pick up some concrete, I guess. Let's put this back in the concrete storage. You know, the place where it should be. Why did I even put it in there? Got some rods in here as well. Let's get back up here. Here you go. We don't need this much concrete right now. I mean, in a little bit we'll be using a ton of it to properly complete the factory building. But I'm going to wait till the thing's running first. Let's make sure the factory is a factory before we make it be a good looking factory. That way you know the constraints that you're working in when making it look nice in the first place. So, let's just have four stacks of everything. Good way of going about it. I've got more iron ingots and stuff in my inventory again. Where am I getting all this stuff from? Here, have even more of them. Uh, you've only emptied out one. I'm surprised you've even done that much. The ratio should be perfect. It's a bit strange. Uh, and then, can I give you... I've got iron ore on me as well, didn't I? I meant to put that away, and then, you know what I did? I didn't do that thing. So, uh... It's my life now. Uh, and then you can, yeah, just have that. No, I... You're, you're full. Well, we carry this around a bit longer then. Let's get back over here. So I've had a bit of a think about how we can do this, this arrangement, but smaller, and I've realized there is a way um, that we could do it. We have this sideways, we have the, uh, the splitters on either end of it. And, yeah, that should make the whole thing a lot more compressed. I could apply it here, but I've already built this, and that's effort, and it might get in the way of that belt there, so f forget it. I don't want to do that. So what I think we want to do is have this run this way, just do a 90 degree and start moving 
over here, and then have this one basically do the same, run alongside it. Just have a power pole there, and then that should... Oh, no, not there! Uh, I wish there was an easier way to get it to connect to the right one. I think that's the kind of thing we want, and then we want a merger here somehow. We can't have an output over there. Oh, can we have an output over there, maybe? Maybe that works. Worth a shot. Let's build some walls so we can actually check. Also, I realize I need to have a door somewhere here. Uh, this is a reasonable enough spot. Maybe we have a, some, like, a ramp up to a higher level where we walk in and we're walking over the machines. That might be better. In fact, we might be able to just hop straight onto those machines there or have walkways going over them. That might be what we want. So we put walls up to here. And then we have a walkway, so we have a ramp leading up to this, and then so on and so forth. Uh, let's see, can we get a... I'm getting to decorative stuff literally just after I explained why I wouldn't be doing that. No, wait, I don't want a ramp, I want... Ah, I just accidentally built some stairs halfway through a wall. Oh god. It's like the fly, but much less horrifying. Um... Oh, there's the jump pads. We should work on those at some point. Walkway ramp. Can build one here? No, maybe? Do they have to be interacting with with these? Like, maybe I can build a walkway straight coming out of this wall. Oop, I've just made it a a thing. A, uh... I need to turn that off. Get rid of it. I don't want it on the to-do list. Hmm... So we've got to have a piece of foundation, but also we can't. Unless I... I guess I could put a, a ramp out here. Actually, I bet there's a way. I bet all we have to do is get uh, normal foundations, just the bigger blocks. And just build out to here so we can then build the, uh, the walkways off of them. In fact, I reckon... If we literally just go here, and we go walkway ramp going down, two of them, I guess, is just, just going to go into the ground. I don't like that it does that. Can we... Mm, we'll build a little platform for it to sit on. Can I... Can I build it lower? But not that... Like that. That's what I wanted, I think. Deconstruct this. Yeah, that's where I wanted it, so we just have a little platform here, we walk up onto here, delete this, then build a walkway ramp. Off of this walkway ramp. And that's how we cheat the system, and we get up onto here, we can build a wall with a door in it. Just in the middle. That way round. Walk straight into here, and then we can build our walkways just going straight across the top of these machines, which will be a very cool thing to walk along and observe uh, our handiwork from. Yeah, there's corners here and T-junctions and just central blocks that you can connect. But yeah, we'll just have a straight one going... Oh, you're encroaching on the wall? On the wall? Really? Do I have to just have a hole in the, in the side of the factory to make this walkway work? I thought I was being so smart... Oh, it still doesn't work. Oh, is it encroaching on the machine? It's not, though. The, there's nothing... Ugh. I think it is. I think it's counting as encroaching on... On the, the constructor. Fine, we leave it till later. As, as I said, we've got to work around the structures once the structures are made. That's the thing we've got to be concerned about. So, yeah. There. That's the actual thing I wanted to do before I went on that, on, off on that whole tangent there. So, we've got to make a merger that merges all these in as small a space as possible. So, first of all, output should be over here, because it has to be. So we have it right there. Does this allow us to connect this to that? This to the... No, it doesn't. Is it because it encroaches on that? Let's test it and delete this. It's still encroaching. Okay, delete the whole thing. Oh, no. There. 
that's allowed, and then the problem is this connecting in. Oh, it takes up space. It takes up a lot of space. That's not what we want. We make it slightly different. Only a little bit. We move it up so that the way things go into it is different. So if we have something like... I just want it off to the side, because that means we could do a bend into a storage and then a, another splitter and then it bends back and does that sort of thing. Hmm. And by the way, in, in, in case you're annoyed about it, I'm, I'm deliberately putting these constraints on myself. I want to build this all in this structure. That was the idea, so that's why I'm I'm putting myself through all this. You know, I'm thinking we just have it go right out here and go into like a storage along here. Kind of gets in our way though. Maybe we give up and have the screws go straight into a thing. No, I can't do that. I need to have some storage for them. It just makes sense. We can have multiple of these, actually. I'm, I'm trying to make it work in a way that it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be all three going into one. We can have two of them that interact smartly. So we can... Of course, yeah. We just literally do that. And then another one here, facing sideways. Easy. There we go. I was making this more complicated than I needed to. Even within my own restrictions. Uh, did I line that up correctly? I can't actually tell. How does this show you what goes where? Oh, no. Uh, belt. Connect to there. Connect to there. Conne connect to there. And then this comes out here. It goes into a storage right along here. And then we have a similar structure going this way, going into the machines over here. And in fact, it'll probably be a little bit different because the machines work differently. So... Um, organization, it's, we're already in the right menu, I'm just being blind. We have it like this. And yeah, we just have it along here, and it just needs that machine there to go into it. So, how close can we put it here? That's where. And then, is that gonna work? I think I put that too close. Let's test it. Yeah, too close. Okay, move it back a bit. Uh, storage container. And about there. That's one further back, but that might not be enough. No, no, it connects. Yep, that absolutely works. Okay, now we have a storage container for screws. We have a buffer, and it's actually really good for space. Now we can have the assemblers here, and we'll work out exactly how they need to be fed. This is going to be tough, I think. Because we are out of room. So, let's put some walls here just to bound the edges and then we can see what we can actually fit in the space in terms of these. I'm going to quickly check if we can fit three alongside each other because that would be useful to know. I am pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, how far does this need to go? To there. And then if we built another one, it would be... How far out does this need to go? No, hold on, this is being weird. Oh, I can't afford it, I'm out of the uh, reinforced iron plates. I guess I could set that one making reinforced iron plates, but it's just going to be quicker to go and make the last few I need. The remaining structures. So, reinforced iron plates. We can make one. Okay, let's make some screws. Oh, I could have picked up screws, that would have been so easy. Oh well. Uh, oh, I try and make it accurate, and then I manage to mess it up. I like to have round numbers. It's nice. It makes everything look nice. Oh, is this done? We could probably do the next research. Plonk. Plonk. This is actually really cheap. Plonk. There we go, and now we can overclock reduction. Uh, is it in here that I do that? Okay, power shard. It, yeah, it's a slug to make a power shard. Oop, it went a bit weird there. And then a power shard. Mucus from the power slugs compressed into a solid crystal like shard. It radiates a strange power, so it doesn't tell us what it does. But we can test it out. We have one. I mean, we could do that right now. Yeah, let's make one. Let's see exactly what it does. 
There we go, we have a parish thing. It's let me build one more there. I think that was a glitch. Did it not tell us anything about this one? Or did I accidentally, like, delete the message? Oh well, in two minutes we'll do the next one. And that will be... Exploration Basics. That's not too difficult to afford either. Okay, yeah, we got the stuff we need back over here. Up oh, and assembler. And I'm pretty sure these are too close and I'm going to have to move them back later. Like, that's the room we need, the width of one of those. But I just want to see the spacing and how that works out. Can we build a third in the space? No, you can only have these two wide in the space that I've given them. So, yeah. See, if we make this make these, it doesn't say which thing has to go into which one, so we can probably do it either way around. Also, like there's a little gantry here that we can stand on to watch the uh, production take place. Very cool. Oh, and there's another... <laughs> I like that they've just put ladders on everything. Just ladders everywhere, because obviously we're going to want to climb all over the top of all our machines. And they've made sure to cater to that. I can, uh, I can appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to have to move these because I think I put them slightly too close. Uh, and we get a splitter. And we put it right here. Okay, maybe they weren't well, they weren't too close. We can just we can just have them inside the same space. That why how? Huh? Yeah, input there is all we need. I think. Literally that. Swing this around into there, split it in two directions, connect it to to assemblers. Bob's your uncle. Then we just gotta connect the uh, the belts that bring the plates and rods. Oh, hey there! I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't given you a name either. I'll have to think of one. Hey, you are. You're still friends. Oh, you found some copper ore. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sure. I'll take it. Good work. Can I give you some berries? In return, uh, just the one because I need these for myself, kind of. There you go. Have some berries. Are you sneezing? Is that sneezing? I think it's sneezing. I love it. There you go. Have the berries if you like. Doesn't seem to care about the berries. Okay, I'll pick them up again. <laughs> Waste not, whatnot. Okay. As we were. Um, giant assembly machines ruining this uh, innocent creature's planet. Yes, let's build many of them. Here we go. So hopefully this lines up. I guess I can move it if it doesn't. And yeah, we can just have these clip into each other, apparently, if we want. Alright. Uh, let's let's have them have that much clearance, at least. Just because it'll look weird otherwise. So yeah, there. And then run this along to the end. So... Exactly there. And then another one right next to it. Here, and does that line up? Oh, it does! Brilliant! Okay, fantastic. So, my only concern now is that we might have issues getting into here once we have a belt coming around here. So let's see what this belt looks like. And, oh yeah, we can easily get past that, that's fine. So, if this is running into the splitter, and then we have one go from... Uh, no, not power lines, from here to here. And then one of them goes from here to here. Then we need the iron rods coming into here and we need the plates going into that one and then we're golden then then we're, we're good we're making all the stuff we need the only thing is that we'll be a little bit short on reinforced iron plates in the grand scheme of things right so iron plate should be easy the challenge is going to be iron rods um i wonder if we could put a storage right here actually the iron rods are going to need to go over everything, so they're going to need to just be on a higher level, up where those machines are as it stands. I don't think we can do much better than that, because these things seem to have a bounding box that... like It's that little light there, and it means that whole level is, is blocked off. It is annoying. Uh, if I just, like... I think we're going to... After all that we did with these before, I think we're going to break these. Because I think we just want to go from here, up, even. And it's going to be hard to work out where I can connect them. I guess the way to do it is to get some walls, run them up the side, and then just see where's the lowest we can build foundation. And it's there. And I want to build a walkway there, but I'm going to have to build foundation there. Like, I think that's the... 
the way it has to be. And yeah, so it's literally level with the machines. The, the, after all that, this, these rods don't go down at all. So, yeah, oops. Hey, Ray. How do you like the progress? Is it good? Over, overseeing the factory, you get a, a full lens view of the whole thing. So, yeah, we put a foundation there. We have to. We can have the walkway come through here, I suppose, between where the machines are, and that'll work. Right, we gotta get up there. Oh, jeez. Uh... Uh... Let's go up... up over here. And just build the belt from a distance, and then walk across the thing to get there. Uh, oh, this won't help us. We gotta, like, run up the belt over here. Uh, the wacky one. That's what we want. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it does clip a little bit. Uh... Right, run up here. Can I get onto the machine? Yep, we can We can at least get onto the platform. We just climb the la la ladder. Bumping into all sorts. Okay, after all that, deconstruct this. And then connect a conveyor belt straight across to there. Just like early on on... on uh, oh, what do you mean floor is too steep, huh? Oh, because it was on the boundary. Right, that whole thing. Right, so, yep, yeah, belt just goes straight across. And uh, then we just need it to go down to that. So, too steep. All right, we move it back a bit and we see if we can make that work. So, foundation, break this, and you need break this whole thing. Break this, and can we connect a conveyor up to here? We can, okay, good, we're, we're fine then. So do that. And then I want things that we're not leaving any for storage after all that. I mean, they're being stored in there, but that's a buffer. It's going to run down. This is now going all, all into there. I mean, we can have a buffer for this, and that'll help. I guess that's what we'll do. So, wall, wall, wall. And we'll see if we're allowed to build a storage box up here. Uh, organization, storage container, uh, floor too steep. Right, it's because some of it is over nothingness, I suppose, so we've got to build out the foundation a bit further. And then it should allow it, I imagine. So, storage container, and yeah, now it's allowing it to be placed here. Oh, flip it around, and can we get it to line up neatly with the belts? I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, oh, I can see if it's lining up with the, the actual machine, I realise. Uh, we need to be over here. That makes more sense. I can actually walk around over here. You just have it dead centre. And this will need to do a shimmy. That's fine. So, oh, and that needs to go. So, this down to... Alright, we move the box. The box has to move because apparently it turns out we're in exactly the right spot to not mash into things. If we're over here. Move it back a bit just to make sure it's got a bit more room to maneuver. And... Okay, now it goes through that, so... Let's move forward like a smidge. Encroaching clearance. What are you encroaching? D this was fine a minute ago. You can do that! Why can't you do anything else? And you can do that! Of all things! Oh, but you can't go any further! Oh, I, just, I like how you can hear the dog just on the ground making... Making its fart noises. Apparently, it's what it does. Right, we need to make the pole there. Oh, okay, let's just make it from this end. Right, that works. That is allowed. And then we connect to that. And then... We connect this to that, and we have our storage chest, and we have it leading into there, and that can now actually make stuff. Let's go get it making stuff. And just see how it looks. Uh, so these are the rotors. Oh, we can just hop up on here and watch, but it's not powered right now, so let's get a power pole over here. Uh, stick one, like... We'll put it there. There we go. And then i got to work out where our power line over there is. There it is. Connect to this one. Conveniently goes over everything else, and then connect to both of these machines. And now... It's filling up. Gonna take a minute. Hey there! It's 
it's gonna it does take a little bit of time oh is throughput an issue how long does production take 10 seconds and it takes Huh. Yeah, it's going to be spending a lot of its time waiting on screws to be loaded in. Oh no! How do we fix that? That's how fast a belt goes. I just really. It says it uses 132 per minute. We can only deliver 60 per minute? Oh no! Half of this production can't be used here unless we get faster belts. Yeah, those are producing 90 screws per minute. A belt can only support 60 and we're merging it onto one belt. That belt would need to support 270 a minute. Oh, no. Oh, I'm a derp. I completely forgot about throughput. I mean, the way to fix it is just to remove all the gubbins and have the machines run directly in, so I guess that's what we'll do. In the meantime, let's just have the thing run. We can see it go. So it makes a weird frame and plugs bits into it and welds it all together and... It doesn't look like anything that's actually made here, but sure. It's like a jetpack or something weird, like an old-fashioned kind of style. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But sure, yeah, alright. It's something. It's running. We'll have to address the throughput issues later. For now, we have a system. Um, and I guess we can do basically the same for the iron and it should work. Should. We'll have to see. Basically, I'm just gonna copy the thing and that should be okay. So run over here. Maybe we want one of the iron things going down to the Assembler one going elsewhere. One of these is almost enough to support it. Two of these is more than enough though, so we can have a splitter and a and a storage and I guess it's just the same though as Hmm. No, there's ways of doing it. We can do some fancy gummins with splitters to make it so that we have uh, an imbalance. We have ten going one way and twenty going the other. If we want to do that. We know that the screws aren't enough though. Let's just get it running. You know what? Let's just get it running. I need this running. For my own sanity, I have to have this actually operating. Uh, I need to get over there, and I can't. Let's just build the foundation there and get rid of it later. So, I want to get this belt first, running up here. And that works absolutely fine. Just going right to this point. Then we have the storage. Uh, storage container right here. Flip it. Till it's actually right way round. Uh, encroaching. Move it back. Have I got it right? Yes, that's lined up. Okay. Connect. To, oh, uh, it's, it's doing weird stuff. Redo. Connect. To. Uh, there. Just do that. I, I should have just not moved. Apparently not moving was the solution. And then here we have a merger. At the moment, I've just got it ring straight through, though. We need to not do that. Hang on. Break this up. What we need right here is... A merger. That's a splitter. A merger. Leading out to there. I've positioned it right. Yes, I have. Then we need... Right behind it, a splitter. Like so. We'll have this array further back. I've I've got an idea. We're doing we're doing splitter arrays. Got old Factorio stuff. Uh, where can this go where it makes physical sense in space? Uh, there, technically, I'm gonna cheat and do that. Uh oh. Conveyor's an invalid shape. It does a bit of a shimmy before it goes in. Okay, we'll move it back then. Uh, where exactly to? To here. Okay, let's see if it allows it now. There. Yep, it does. And here, they both merge. 
comes out of here and immediately goes to a splitter, is the plan. So yeah, we'll move it all up a bit. We'll get it all done earlier. So it goes to a splitter. So yep, input lined up and output. Goes into here. And then we have a merger here. So yep, we're going merger, splitter, merger. Just trust me on this. It has to be done this way. Did I do that right? Yes, okay. They both run into there, that runs through to here, and then what we do is we have this go into here, and this go into here. So it's splitting it into into three tens, two of the tens are going back in and becoming a twenty, and then that is what goes down to over there. Do we buffer this? We can't, we're out of room. Disconnect it. This is maybe a bad idea, I'll be honest. Actually, no, because if it gets stuck and overflows, then extra will come out of this port here, which is the key. This one separates off and goes into its own storage. So this just uh, comes off. We'll have it turn, face that way, and then I don't know where it goes from here. It goes down to the ground somewhere and goes in a box. We could put a box there. That's a good place for a box. So... Uh... Organization, storage container, turn it. Should we just have it alongside? We already know we can't fit anything else uh, alongside there, so might as well. And that's a storage container for iron. And then we get this belt and we have it just go in some direction somehow. I don't know. I just wanted to get down to there. Let's have it just be over here. Let's have it be right alongside. Oh. I don't know if that's a biofuel failure, or just a few too many machines running. Oh, why are you encroaching? Is it because it's, it has to turn by a smidge? Is that what it is? I bet it is. It also, it also says it's too steep. We'll work that out later, it's not critical. The key thing is that we have this connected. This can now run, we just have to give it its job. Configure assembler, make reinforced iron plate. This is now working, or at least it would be if we had power. Let's go see what the problem is. Is it biofuel, or is it just power capacity? It's biofuel, we ran out. Oh, we actually ran for a little bit without the a problem. We, we just so happened to reduce our power consumption as the production limit dropped, and then eventually we hopped back over it again. Right, what do we got in here? Oh, vast amounts of biofuel, we're fine. Oh, <laughs> and surprise me that time. Alright, there you go. You as well, it should be enough to get the system kick-started again. Then we'll stock up on what is left in here. I imagine this is done now. Like, yeah. Oh, and here, I forgot about this. We can try putting this in here, and yeah, it gives a 50% overclock. Neat. Can you put them in these? Yes, but it uses fuel faster, so there's really no point in it. I, it's not worth it. In fact, the, the capacity didn't change. Oh, I have to actually overclock it. What does that mean? Yeah, so it means we've got higher capacity. But you might as well just build more machines. Oh, you can also underclock. Interesting. C can I... There we go. I can put it back to 100. I was a little bit concerned for a second there. So you can get them to 250 if you're crazy, but we could just build more biofuel things. I don't know why. It's just a speed module. I guess it's for if you mess up your system and you need something to go faster, you can just put that in retroactively to make the thing work. So yeah, uh, let's go around uh, and give gifts of biofuel. Oh yeah, we're actually... We, we've expended quite a lot. I'm gonna need to go on another chainsaw murder spree, apparently, of, of trees, I should clarify, of, of trees. Because, yeah, we can't fill all these up, and that's done. <laughs> oh dear. It's just gonna keep doing it, isn't it? Uh, right, we'll solve that. That's a problem for, for in-between episodes, Bentham. We will make another biofuel generator, because it seems like we're close to our limit, and we're about to, to have more stuff running. In fact, it should be running right now. But, yeah, let's, uh... Let's line this up. Uh, let's have it lined up with everything else rotation-wise as well. And then, uh, where, where's the, where's the line? Oh, oh, we're close. It's 
right about there. Got it. So we're gonna have to just like steal a 200 and split the stack and and deal. So split it, dump that back in there, get this running. This only has 80, so uh, uh, and connect it to this power line already prepared. That's a little more power capacity, and let's see if before we have too much of a biofuel problem, we can unlock coal and never have to deal with biofuel again. That would be helpful. So yeah, this should be running now. Let's see how it's going. We got 22 rotors, and we got uh, three reinforced iron plates. Ah, oh, the screw supply is going to be a complete mess now. Let's get these just... I'm going to connect them directly. We'll deal with storage later. Just have these hooked up. Okay, let's have them go to the top of this ramp before they start doing weird things. Then into there. You to the top of the ramp. And then into there, I guess. Just the nearest ones. Why not? And there we go. The rotors are moving through. As are the plates. What little there is. And let's now get the, uh, the screw situation a little bit better. So we need to just basically cut this out of the equation, have a direct connection. So this currently has all of them going into it, that's no good. Uh, I'm gonna break this. <laughs> and our work is just punctuated by fart noises. I feel like that's gonna grow old at some point. Uh, can I get it like... I want it to just turn immediately when it can, please. So, do like that. So you turn straight around to here. And... Can you get over to that one, is the question. Without getting too much in the way of everything else. Uh, we're gonna cut this here. In fact, we're gonna get rid of this as well. We need the space. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix it all later. And yeah, then you need to move forward. And then you need to turn, go into there. Oh, it's a bit short on space. And then you, bit of a shimmy to the side here. Run up along here, and then I want you to connect to that. And it clips a bit, but I'm going to overlook it. I could fix it, maybe. But yeah, that means that we actually have the highest rate of con of, uh, of screws being sent in as we currently can. We're going to need faster belts to actually get them uh, at their full capacity. But yeah, that's got these running a little bit quicker now. They're both getting one per second instead of, uh, for a brief time, getting one every two. Because we're actually having it like this. So there we go. I, I thought I had it all planned out. I thought I had it perfect. And at the very end, it turns out that I had some critical thing wrong that's caused a bit of a mess. Now, I want to make another one of these, but I don't have the room. So I'm going to make the room. We're just going to have it be a thing for now. So, uh, production, assembler, place it right here, and yep, it overlaps slightly, but we're, we'll just deal. And then we've got to have this, like, split. No, we don't have to have that. We can have the other belt do it for now. Uh, this guy over here can stop going into that. That's no longer the thing that really matters. Uh, you go to that one. And then we have the iron come down to the other side. Let's see if we can just do that somehow, maybe. I don't know why I'm coming up there. That isn't a thing. We've got to go up this set of stairs. Here we go. Uh, jump. <laughs> totally safe. Factory traversal. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this totally apparently works. I ain't going to complain. Connect that up, and that is another one of these running. So we have two things making the reinforced iron plates now. That should get the job done a fair chunk quicker. But yeah, overclocking anything won't help here. Uh, oh, it's got no power. Uh, we have, I think, a spare slot on one of these power poles. There it is. Connect to... Yep, there. Now that's running. Iron plates are on their way. It's gonna work after a fashion. After all that, it's not quite what I wanted, but we can do some rearranging a little bit later on and get it working more reliably, but it's it's now providing the things we need, and that's the, the important thing. So let's have this come up here as well. Uh, this can move a smidge. But, oh, come on! I just built another 
biofuel thing. How much do the blooming assemblers use? There, all the belts connected. That all works. Except nothing's running right now. Let's go see why. Oh, hey doggo. What, do you have something for me? You have, oh, some Katerium ore. Not too bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't pet the doggo. Oh, you can't pet the doggo anymore because now it's your, it's your dog. And I guess it's not a thing. Huh. Right, what's the problem? Do we hit the power limit? Yeah, we did. Jeez. Okay, we've got to make another biofuel generator. Power. Biomass burner. Uh, can I build it here? I probably can't build it with the doggo there. Get get back, please. There we go. And yeah, now I'm allowed to build it. Okay, the dog actually seemed to block it. Right there. Uh, is there a power pole I can connect? No, I think I'm out. Didn't expect to have to build this many. That one. We'll just connect that one. It's fine. And then I need to go get a hundred from one of these. So... Split the stack. That back in. Put this in here. So we're living on even more borrowed time. Switch that back on. We got the system running again. And we've got the stuff being supplied to the space elevator. And now they should all be working. Oh dear. So let's see how it's looking. How have we got so far? Oh, we are most of the way there with the rotors. It's just the uh, reinforced iron plates that are the issue. But we've got these going double time now. So that should really help. We're essentially making... Uh, Five per minute between the two of them. So how long is that going to take? Uh, less than 15 minutes now. What, 13 minutes? So we're, we're, we're getting there. We just have to wait uh, less than the, the length of an episode for this to be ready. So I think with well, that we'll end. This is the longest one yet because I was like, I've got to get this done. Got to get this done. And we did it. So... Next episode, this will be ready. And then we'll see what uh, the future holds for us. And, uh... Try and deal with our biofuel crisis. Alright, well, with that, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.